Okay, so a couple of guys have asked me how I've got my temperature control set up. And then they said, well, well, my problem's not heating, mine's cooling, or mine's not cooling, mine's heating. <clears throat> well, I've got mine set up so that it'll do both. I've got the aquarium chiller here set to 72 degrees. And then I've got a reservoir in here with a submersible pump. And then I've got down at the bottom, you see I've got an aquarium heater, 250 watt aquarium heater that will bring the water up to 70 degrees. And it circulates it around through, comes around through this, this tube right over here, down into the, through the chilling coil or temperature control coil, comes out this one. And then I've got it daisy chained so that it can go through another one. I'm brewing another batch of beer today and I'll stick this in there and it'll be able to maintain the temperature on uh, two, two fermenters. And then it goes back around and goes back into the, the water here with this uh, little bit of a stream of water that goes through. So I just added, topped it off more, so that's why the heater's going so much. Um, but it'll it'll hold the temperature on my fermenter right between uh, 70, 71 degrees. You can see currently right now it's 71 degrees inside the fermenter. And uh, it maintains the temperature just perfectly for two of them. And so when I got the other batch going, I'll bring the other fermenter over here and we'll... Uh, put the, uh, the, the temperature control coil down inside it and uh, we'll be all set. You can see we've got the CF10 fermenter and it's on uh, leg extensions. I'm getting too old to bend down and mess around with things and and when I get ready to fill up the my corny kegs I just hook a hose right up to that attachment right there and uh, put a hose into it and then into the corny keg and, and uh, just gravity fills just as nice as could be. And so I'm, I'm real happy with, with the setup that I've got here. Our temperatures here in Arizona this time of year, I can be 20 degrees in the morning and then up over 50 or 60 degrees that afternoon. Then the next day I can be up over 75. And so the temperature in my garage just is, you know, it's just in all ranges. And so I've got to have something that will maintain uh, my fermenters at a, at a exact temperature so that I can get the best out of, out of uh, my batches of beer. If you have any questions, just Leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Or if you've got a suggestion on a video you'd like to see, let me know. And, uh, and if you like this video, push the uh, subscribe button. Thanks.